these next two new angle pairs that we're going to talk about are complementary and supplementary angles. Now, complementary angles are simply two angles that, when I add the two angles together, equal 90 degrees. Okay? Now, you'll notice here we have both a non-adjacent, okay, so these are not adjacent, I don't think I can spell today. So you notice these are angle ABC and JKL. They're not adjacent. They don't share a side or a vertex. Whereas these two angles are adjacent. Now, thing to keep in mind, besides the fact that Molly's whining at me, um, is that for angles to be complementary, they don't need, oops, they don't need to be adjacent. The key to complementary angles is that they add to 90. So it doesn't matter whether they're adjacent or not. Supplementary angles are similar in the sense that to be supplementary angles, they don't need to be adjacent. What they need to do is add to 180 degrees. So here we have 110 degrees for angle D, E, F, or F, E, D. And then we have angle G, H, J, that is 70 degrees. And if I add those two together, I do get 180. Now, this is, this example here, UVX. Those are adjacent, obviously. And when we have adjacent angles that are supplementary, what we get is they form a line. Okay, and in our last video, we talked about um, linear pair. Okay. This also happens to be a, known as a straight angle as well. Okay, so these two particular angles, they form a line, they form a linear pair, are considered a straight form, a straight angle and they are supplementary angles. All four of these terms, anytime you see them, means that we're dealing with a total of 180 degrees, okay? A straight line, a straight angle, a linear pair, or supplementary. Anytime you see any one of those four words, you know that you're dealing with something that is has a total of 180 degrees, okay? So with that in mind, let's take a look at these two examples. Now, we said that complementary means 90 degrees, okay? Now in a diagram, okay, if we have a diagram and no words or no directions or description of the problem, we symbolize a 90 degree angle with this little square box in the corner, okay? Anytime you see this, this box here, okay, that means we have that the whole thing, the two angles together, the larger angle is 90. Okay, so this example are a pair of complementary angles. Now, very similar to line segments, okay, if I have, if I have two angles where the larger angle is 90 degrees, and one of the smaller angles 
is 62 degrees, we can just subtract 90 minus 62 to find out what the measure of my smaller angle is. And that's, and when I subtract, I get 28 degrees. Another way we could approach this is that I know my two angles, angle represented by X, and my 62 degree angle, when I add them together, I get 90 degrees. To solve for X, subtract 62 from both sides. And we do get 28. Similar situation here. I don't have any words or descriptions, but I do have a line. And I know any line or linear pair is 180 degrees. So x plus 118, those two angles together add to 180. So subtract 118 degrees from both sides. And I, let's see, two, I get 62 degrees. Here's a word problem for us. And I know many students struggle with word problems, but the key to any word problem is to first draw a diagram. I'm all about drawing a picture that you can label. And two, highlight or circle or Put a box around any keywords. Okay, so it says here, let me change colors. It says here the first sentence is two angles are complementary. Okay, now anytime you see the word complementary, you need to think of 90 degrees. Okay, now 90 degrees as my previous diet example showed looks like this because my box tells me that that is 90. Okay. It says the measure of the larger angle is 10 greater than nine times the smaller angle. Okay, so obviously we have a larger angle and a smaller angle, okay. So it doesn't matter how I draw my diagram as long as one is bigger and one is smaller, okay. Now, of course, I'm not told what the angles are, right? But with any problem, when I don't know what the value is for something, we use a variable, okay? So I'm automatically going to label my smaller angle as X. So complementary is 90. Okay, now in comparison, because this is what it's comparing the larger angle and the smaller angle. So if the smaller angle is X, the larger angle is 10 greater than nine times, okay? So we actually have 10 greater, okay? Now when you're unsure of what a, what a particular phrase means, okay? I always like to put it in terms of money because money seems to really makes sense to everyone. So what I would say is like, okay, if Sam has, let's say I have $10 and my friend Sam has 10 greater, what's another, another word for greater 
because we don't say in terms of money we don't say 10 greater but we would say 10 more so if I have ten dollars and she has ten greater or ten more that means she has twenty dollars now what did I do there I added because if I have ten and she has ten more that would mean she would have $20, okay? So what I'm trying to show you is that anytime you see greater or, um, I'm sorry, I gotta get rid of this diagram here. There we go. Um, we're gonna add, okay? So keywords for addition are some, greater than, more than, those are some, those are like the top three. Okay, so no, so 10 more. So in terms of my smaller about smaller angle of X, I'm gonna do X plus 10. And then I, but I can't forget about the nine times. Well, it's telling you right there, nine times. When we're timesing, we do three times four, we're multiplying. Okay, so that means we're going to multiply nine times the angle. Okay, and don't get confused about writing it like this. Okay, because this, this is very different than just 9x plus 10. Because this would mean I'd have to distribute to both. And that's not what the problem said. The problem said it was just nine times the measure of the smaller angle represented by x. So that's why we would only multiply x times nine and not the 10, okay? So now I have values for both angles and I can now solve. Okay, so I have 9x plus 10 is my first angle. x represents my second angle. And together, when I add them up, I get 90. Okay, from here, we just have an algebraic problem. I'm going to combine like terms. I have 9x and x, or 1x if you like to put the 1 in front. It's going to give me 10x plus 10 equals 90 to get 10 by itself or to isolate it I need to subtract 10 from both sides of my equation and I get 80 90 minus 10 is 80 and my last step is always to divide by 10 so my x so x equals 8 now don't fall into the trap of thinking that you're finished because the question doesn't ask us what the value of x is. It asks us to find the measure of each angle. Okay, well the good news is that we did, because x represents our smaller angle, then our smaller angle is 8 degrees. Because, oops, I don't know, we're at 80. Okay. And now to find the measure of my larger angle, I'm gonna re replace x with eight, and I get nine times eight is 72, plus 10, which is 82, and, and 82 plus eight does give me 90.